Hey everyone, it's Matt here. In this video, it will be part 3 to how to create a forms page for your website. Alright, so in this part, I will show you a little bit about port forwarding. And, yeah. And I will show you about some, uh, about how to do categories and forms. So, let's get started. Alright, so I'm just going to make a new tab here. Actually, I'm not. Um because certain reasons so at the bottom you're gonna want to go to uh, once you get to your form so 127.0.0.1 forward slash forms for me at least for you guys it might be just 127.0.0.1 or localhost uh... if you do have google chrome and you type in just like um... local host it won't actually go to the local host you have to type http colon slash slash colon colon slash slash uh, 127.0.0.1 yeah so that's a fun fact right there so you have to do whatever uh, but you have to put HTTP if you're going to type in um, if you type in just the numbers you it'll be fine but if you type in just the uh, local host you have to put the HTTP in front of it all right, so let's go to the administration control panel. I'm going to show you guys about the categories and forms. Reauthenticate myself. Like I always have to do. Proceed to the ACP. Um, if you guys want to go to part two uh, of this series, just click the annota annotation at the top, um, top left of the video. If you guys want to see part four click the annotation at the top right of the video and if you click this little button right up here then you can subscribe recommend doing alright so once you're here you guys are gonna wanna go to the forms tab second one to the right and you guys are gonna wanna uh, edit this um, go to the little green wheel thing yeah and this is going to be a category, so let's just see what this looks like. Um, HTTP slash localhost slash forms. Alrighty then. Okay, so your first category, that's where that's going to come in. So I want to change that text right there. And I'm going to call it form name. is going to be World of Warcraft. And I don't really need to do a description because it's a category. The categories go right here. The forms go right here. So, yep. Submit that. Back to previous page. Um, and now let's go inside of it. Just click on it. Uh, delete this one. Actually, don't delete it yet. Don't delete it yet and create a new form. What do you want to call this? I'll just call it general. And blah blah blah. You're going to want to copy the permissions of um, World of Warcraft. Copy the copy the or your first category that you made. You're going to want to make it a form type though. Uh, when you copy the permissions that means that other people can um, other people that are uh, either just guests, l new users, users, admins, or bots, bots can see it. Uh, if you don't do any permissions, then you wouldn't be able to see any of it. So if I just did do not copy permissions, I would have to make the permission myself, which I don't want to do. So form name, general, I'm just going to put in the general chat. The general form actually for wow all right blah, blah blah if you have a form image you can do that um all right you can lock the form if you want la 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 mm, all right that's all good back to previous page okay so there you go you see general now all right so now i can delete this one and just delete it and go back to the previous page and now I refresh and there it is so now you want to go inside of that and you're going to want to click new topic and then you're going to want to log in 
I don't know why I wasn't logged in in the first place. I don't know if that was the right password. Yeah, it was. You cannot post in this form. So that's what I'm talking about with, uh, I think, the permissions. Uh, so let me go to form permissions. Let me go to general, submit. And I'm going to add group and I'm going to add permissions because I uh, full access because I'm an admin and I'm not allowed to do anything. I think not. So yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And now I'm going to make it. I think I made it where I can now. Yes, now I can post topics so I'm gonna do like welcome to the unofficial world of warcraft form alright I'm just gonna keep writing hi I'll copy paste now I find time for some really big text font size huge um, bolded, italicized, underlined, and in red. Alrighty then. Submit. Let's see how big this is going to be. Um, click. Hi, 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 hi. Alright. There we go. Now if just click her. Then you can see there. Alright. So now I'm going to show you guys a little bit about port forwarding. If you do not have a router, then then that's the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you make sure you guys subscribe and thumbs up the video and favorite. And if you guys have any questions, comment. Alright, for you guys that do have a router, this is what you're going to do. You're going to want to go to... Uh, your router name, which will be actually, you just go to since I have Windows 7, I'm just gonna go here, uh, where my in internet connection is, and right click this and go to status, and then go to details and find default gateway. So 192.168.1.1. Alrighty then, 168.1.1. Alright, alright, so I have a password. It's already typed in. Don't have to do that. Alright, since I have a Linksys router, I'm going to go to Applications and Gaming. And I already have all this stuff typed in, blah, blah, blah. But I'm, now I have to change this to my regular router. So I'm just going to go to the CMD. Um, and type in IPConfig. If you want to find out how to do this, just click the, uh, just not the annotation, but... Just look for my other video on how to find your local IP address or something. I made a video about this. Alright, so my IP address is 192.168.1.1. Okay, so. Wait, wait, wait. Dot one dot one one two. Alright, so 112. HTTP is what we're going to want to use, so it's port 80. So HTTP is port 80. So you just do 112. Alright, so save settings. Alrighty then. And now we're going to use dyn.com to use a, um, uh, to get a uh, DNS for our website. So now we're going to go to sign in, but we don't have an account yet, so we're going to go to user. So we're just going to create one right here. I'm going to do Matt Knight, because I'm a knight. One, two. I like knight. Uh, password, um, it's just password, password, the email will be Matthew JK, okay, um, actually, wrong email, it's not even my email, I think, there we go. 
just copy this. Alright, so the thing is 60772. And do not subscribe, and I accept. Okay, so now after I go to my email, I'm going to go to my email and confirm it, and I'll see you guys when I get back. Alright everyone, now that we confirmed our email, it took us to this page. Well, it didn't take us to this page, it took us to a page where we wanted to, like, pay for stuff, but you don't. So you're just going to want to go to dynzns.com, just like, after you're logged in, just go to dyn.com. And then once you're here, just go to uh, D DNS. And then... Wait. Just go to dyndns.com. That's what I want. DNS.org. Actually, .org. Sorry. Orn? No. Org. That's what I want. And then... You're going to want to go to... Sign in. Should already be signed in. So, I don't know. We'll see. It's taking a while. Mamma mia. There we go. Now I just go to my account. Now I go to add host services. Now I'm going to do uh, the shortest one they have. So dyndns.tv. Okay. And then I'm just going to type in wow is fun. Die DK. I don't know. And then I just uh, put in the IP address that it says, your IP's current location, blah, 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 and do that. And now the whole screen at the from there is blurred out, so yeah, just hit add to cart. Now you go to proceed to checkout. And this is free. This is a free host. But you make got to make sure you update it every like 30 days or something, or it'll cancel your account, your whole account. Alright, so that is done. Now, all you have to do is just go to, let me copy this, and you just go to, whoops, oh my gosh, <laughs> wow is fun, uh, idk.dyndns.tv, and then no exam security, blah blah blah, slash, forms <laughs> forms and then it will bring you to your forms so uh that is that concludes this video for port forwarding and uh doing some stuff with your with your forms with as far as um like d using the forms and the categories and whatnot so yeah if that is ha that is how to do that. So if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys thumbs up and favorite this video. If you guys have any questions, comment me or inbox me. I will be sure to get back to everyone. I usually do. I had a long conversation with somebody about an iPod just yesterday or the day before. So that concludes this part. If you guys want to go to part four, click the annotation top right. If you Like I said, if you want to go back to part two, click the annotation at the top left. And make sure you guys hit the top middle to subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.